This is a dream, Fafnir. The beer which I've been waiting for for a very long time. Fafnir F3, who is owned by Frida La Hoya, of course. Number one blader, left pin, and stammer type, the Lee Burst Evolution. It comes with three parts, the Aetis, the Nothing Driver, and of course the Fafnir, you know, the Fafnir disc. Its special ability is spin stealing. You can just rip it with your hand. You can rip the other way with a launcher, and this one will pick up speed as it is hit by a right spin bay. This is Takara Tommy, of course, so it's quite genuine. Fafnir does come with indeed three parts, his disc, his forged disc, and his driver. The driver is my favorite part, I'll tell you why later. This disc works as a spin stealer because when it is hit here, it spins in the opposite direction of the way it has been hit. This part is rubber, so it creates friction and it goes even faster than other bays. This is the eight disc, which distributes weight equally among these two halves. It has eight eights, as you can see. And it creates the center of gravity, and it makes the center of gravity quite wide on the outside of the bay. This is the nothing driver, which has a spring inbuilt. When you push it in, it can diminish landing shock as it lands. And when it goes fully in and tilts, it acts as an attack type instead of a standard type. You put Fafnir together like this. You hold the disc upside down, you drop the metal in, and you put these two prongs on the disc inside. And you twist it around until it clicks. Then you have Fafnir assembled. I am going to show you one quick pre-launch using the launcher which came with this. This launcher only works with left spin bays, so do not use it for a right spin bay. He's quite stable as you can see, which is just for a stamina type. He does not look very appealing as he is spinning. Side view. This is the side view of Fafnir. Now, I am going to show you as he is ripped in this stadium. He's still a standard type as he is quite stable in the stadium. This is the original Beyblade Stadium, which has a curved interior, and so all these act the same in here. Except for attack types, of course, and defense types. Now we're going to have stable. a battle between Odax and Fafnir. Indeed, we shall now have the battle between Omni Odax and, of course, our one and only if you want Fafnir. Fafnir. A view of Odax, not that it really matters that much. He is an attack type, so he races around the stadium, while Fafnir stays in the middle. His ability is his rubber tip, it makes him go extremely fast. Three, two, one, go kick butt. The middle bay is Fafnir, of course. The outer one is Odax. Odax is a right spinning bay, so Fafnir can absorb energy from him when hit. Fafnir will still slow down, but not at the rate as Odax. As you can see, Fafnir spun for a little bit longer than Omni Odax, which points to the fact as he can spin steel. So usually stamina type has at a disadvantage towards an attack type as it has very low defense. Wow. Fafnir does not have a very good burst lock. As you will see in some later versions of maybe other videos, you will see that when Fafnir slows down, he often bursts the opponent's bay in one hit. Also, there are some bays called Chosy Bays which can lock. Which can have a burst lock. GS Fafnir, which is the evolution of Fafnir F3, sadly does not have a burst lock. My name is Varun Kulkarni, and I'm proud to present a video of Drain Fafnir.